So let's take a look at the tunes palette. And in the tunes palette, you have every kind of control that you can use in Lycode. And it is divided into a couple of sections. Uh, but the first two sections are actually not uh, controls, because the first section here is to control the tunes palette. So if you click on the cogwheel here, you see that it brings up a menu. And this cogwheel is actually there on several other um, windows or palettes in Lycode. So uh, therefore, there is, for example, at the bottom here, you can select select, select tab style. Uh, and here it doesn't matter because we have no tabs in this one. Um, but you can select how many columns you would like to have. If you would like to have two, three or four columns. So if you would like to have a more um, narrow one, if, if it fits your screen better, then you can use that one. Okay, so these are for the settings. Uh, the plus sign is to find more widgets, it says. And what are widgets? Well, widgets are the first section here are created um, widgets. And what is a widget? Well, a widget is something that is written in something that is similar to live code, but is called live code builder. And the idea behind live code builder is that you write something that is very close to live code, but then you compile that into kind of machine code. So that means that you have a lot higher speed in those. So you can create a lot of uh, other stuff in, in, uh, in that one. Uh, of course, you can create a lot of those. You can create by just using uh, regular Likert controls. <clears throat> but if you would like to have them kind of combined and then in one package, then it might be an idea to turn try to turn something into to widgets. But remember that Likert Builder is similar to live code, uh, the live code script, but it's not the same. So uh, there are extra widgets. If you click on that one, you will get a window where you get to the live code store. At the moment, there is kind of nothing there, um, but there is also a couple of other uh, tabs up here. And here you see the cogwheel, as I said before. Um, so I can say that I would like to have labels and this one only has labels. So that one doesn't do any difference uh, either. Uh, so I'll leave that for now. But here, for example, there are a couple of uh, uh, widgets that are installed. Some of them are used in other widgets, so therefore they are not by default in this section. For example, this gradient ramp editor. If, but if I click in this one, uh, I can show that in the tools palette. And I will see I have that one here. And then I can drag that to my stack and use that one later on. So. Um, Let's go back then. So the first section are widgets. Then we have what is called the classic controls. And we have a couple of buttons um, and we have a couple of fields and then we have a couple of menus and then we have some kind of progress bar and a slider and we have some little arrows, uh, all those that you can click up and down for uh, increasing or decreasing a number. Uh, and then you have a, a generic scroll bar if you would like to add that. Um, manually to some kind of control that you're building. Then you have two kind of um, an image well and a play um, a player control. And the play control are for for uh, everything that is kind of uh, media related. So it's for videos or for, and also for audio. Um, and it uses the native um, player on the platform. So that means that if you're on a, a Mac, well, then it will use the AV uh, kit from Apple. And if you're on Windows, well, then it will use the media, Windows Media Player system. Um, so it will play kind of everything that is possible to play in those kits. And then you know that it can kind of play almost anything. Then the next section uh, are some primitive graphics. But I can actually say that I use them a lot. Because the advantage with those is that they are scalable. They are mathematical representations. So if you bring up uh, some of the other controls, then they, well, of course, the text will scale uh, fine. Uh, but um, these are really good if you would like to have something that is scalable. And as I said in the first video about Lycode, you can attach script to any control. That means that if I would like to turn one of these into a button, well, then I just attach something that has, uh, for example, a mouse up handler to one of these controls. And then it behaves like a button. Uh, then you have some uh, primitives uh, for uh, some kind of simple graphical drawing. 
Uh, so you have a curve graphic and that's the freehand graphic and then you have the polygon graphic and that where you click the, the corners you would like to have in your polygon uh, and then you can also create a line and you can select uh, you can set the graphic fill color and the pen color and that is the line for um, for that and then you can set the graphic line size but I usually never use at least these uh, and then at the bottom here you also have some really simple painting tools that you can use and these I kind of never ever use but as they are part of live code it's actually quite easy if you would like to create an app where someone should be able to mark something well then you can use the pencil tool for example and then you can use that one so there they are really simple but sometimes they can be useful so those are all the tools in uh, the tools palette and to see this in action well then we of course need a stack so i will create a new stack uh, i create one of the default size and i will increase the size a little bit so i can fit more controls so it's kind of the same if you would like to use a widget well then you just can drag it out and you can rescale them of course uh, if you want to change the size and uh, you can drag out buttons you can drag out text labels and text fields and you can drag out a graphic control and so on and so forth um, and of course in the end you have these paint things that you can uh, draw down here um, in some way um, or you can use the brush tool and you can brush like this and so on and so forth <clears throat> and as you see we have a couple of controls but if I would like to have something a little bit more advanced well then you can either create a widget or you can use several different of the existing controls and then create a more advanced control based on that one but we will come back to that later on